So the thing you need to know about tea in Taiwan is that there's two varieties. There's there is this huge tea company called uh, Tea in Taiwan. So Tenfu Tea is the biggest tea company in Taiwan. They sell a lot. They have Tenfu uh, Ten Ren. Ten Ren is the, is another name they go by. Ten Ren. Um, they've got shops all over Taipei. Problem is, the problem is, they sell you know a uh, local mountain tea and a local brand tea. Problem is, it's not. It's all made in China. People get sick from it all the time. So much so, so much so, that the local health go health government has had to, has to routinely check the tea because people keep getting like listeria and food poisoning and stuff like that. Yeah, because it's not local and it's not it doesn't go through local quality checks, you know. But but then the other variety is local and primarily in from the central part of Taiwan. So Arishan, Sun Moon Lake, um, those parts, Taidong. And I've been to all of these places, but I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me uh, introduce you to some of the different types of tea in Taiwan. So basically, uh, there are three types of tea you can buy in Taiwan. Oolong tea, green tea, and white tea. And I would say 80% of the tea that you get from Taiwan is going to be oolong tea. Now, what's the difference? Well, not a whole lot, to be honest with you. There, there's some very, very minimal differences between the two. Um, and that's a, it's just super, super technical that I don't want to get into being it to, to the technical stuff. But anyway, Taiwanese tea is, is awesome. And I brought some, I brought some. And so at some point on one of my streams, I'm going to do a real Taiwanese tea drinking ceremony. I, I'm going to have the Taiwanese uh, drinking kits with the pot and the pitcher and the cups it's going to be beautiful and whatever but but for for today i'm just going to talk about the different types of types of uh, taiwanese tea that people drink and uh so i'm gonna start with the first one this is called uh, uh dong ding uh, oolong tea which is really really famous uh, and it's uh, from Nantau, which if you're from Taiwan, you know exactly where that is. The southern part of, um, or that, actually not the southern part, but the very, very middle part actually of Taiwan in the mountains. And I'm just going to basically just going to scroll through um, these pictures. Um, they, get be they get better. See, there you go. This is better. This is called Songbai Tea. This is also in uh, Nantau. Again, an oolong tea. But this is different. This is different because this is prepared in the cup. This is pretty awesome. Um, if you look at this picture, you'll see that there's like a wooden scoop. And then the raw, not raw, but the dried tea leaves. It doesn't look like the tea you see in a tea bag. It's like these little clumps. Little little clumps, little balls of, um, of tea. And you, and you scoop it up with this wooden scoop designed to give you the right amount of tea to put into your tea kettle. This is a Taiwan high mountain tea. And actually this is from Alishan, Alishan. And this is a really good tea. I love this tea. And this is probably what I usually get. No, they don't. No, they don't have. This is a, this is green tea. This is another, oh no, this is an oolong tea. This is an oolong tea. Um, a very, very green, very green look to it. So confusing with uh, green tea. But this is green tea. This is Sanzia from Sanzia. So if you're from Taiwan, you know exactly where this is. Um, I want to come back a little bit to this uh, very dark. It's like, um, like this, uh, the, the tea has been cooked, right? And uh, actually, this is uh, is in Mucha. Oh, 
interesting. Again, if you're tired one of these, you know where this is, but kind of makes it kind of makes a difference. So the, what's it? Okay, so why am I talking about uh, Tie Guanyin? Tie Guanyin uh, oolong tea is dark. It looks almost like coffee, and it's very bitter. It's very strong, like over. It it uh, tastes a little bit like it's been tea that's been that been left in for too long and you might think oh that doesn't sound good actually it's really good it is really good but here's the thing most people drink it with sugar and cream sugar and cream i drink it straight i drink it without any sugar or cream i drink it i drink it like i drink coffee which is black no cream no sugar I'm I'm a crazy American. I like it raw. I want the real stuff. But it's just tea. So we've been talking about tea in Taiwan.